All right, it is officially the start of the new NFL league year, which means free agency can officially start. No more legal tampering. Everything is official. Of course, for the Steelers, we want to start with the big news. The Steelers announcing they have traded wide receiver Antonio Brown to the Oakland Raiders. In exchange, they will be getting a third and a fifth round draft pick. This has been the talk since before the combine with Steelers general manager Kevin Colbert. He made it very clear from the get-go the team would only think about trading him with three years left on his contract if it benefited the Steelers I had a chance to sit down with the GM well again when we had our discussions with Antonio and his representation Drew Rosenhaus we talked about we were willing to look into making a trade but we were specific that the trade would only be made if we felt it was beneficial to the Pittsburgh Steelers uh, when we were able to get a third round pick and a fifth round pick particularly where those picks were the third and fifth picks put together gives us four picks in the top 83 when we include our own third round pick and it gives us 10 picks overall in a draft that we think is it's it's a draft that's beneficial to have as many picks as you can get. All right, we'll talk about those 10 drafts in just a second, but let's look at the Steelers roster as it stands today in terms of the wide receivers and the depth. Of course, James Washington draft, drafted last year. Juju Smith-Schuster was the number two with Antonio Brown. Ryan Switzer, somebody the team acquired from Oakland via trade last year. So an, a, a, a list to keep an eye on as we continue heading throughout free agency and also into the draft for the Steelers looking to fill that void of Antonio Brown. You can watch my full interview with Kevin Colbert right now on Steelers.com and also on the Steelers official app. Also, trade news involving offensive lineman Marcus Gilbert. The Steelers are trading him with the Arizona Cardinals in exchange for a sixth round draft pick. As Kevin Colbert said, there are now 10 draft picks, three acquired via trade for the Pittsburgh Steelers as we push closer and closer to the draft in April. So here is a look at all of the draft picks the Steelers have. Of course, the first round draft pick is 20th overall. And then you see there are six in the sixth round, there are three picks now. The fifth round, there is the one from Antonio Brown. They did not have one originally due to the trade with Ryan Switzer and the Oakland Raiders back in 2018. It is, of course, free agency, as I mentioned, at the top of the program. And the Steelers, as we know, like to sign some of their own guys that they have had play on their team. This list right now is the four guys that they have taken care of already. Tyson Alualu took place before the combine. Ramon Foster was announced last week and just today before free agency officially kicked underway. We had Jordan Berry and Anthony Ciccolo. All of the four guys you see here signing new two-year deals, keeping them with the Pittsburgh Steelers through the 2020 season. Season. Of course, though, the list that we're going to continue to keep an eye on is the guys here, the unrestricted free agents. We know Le'Veon Bell is now a New York Jet. Jesse James also signing with the Detroit Lions. So some other names there that could potentially either re-sign with the Steelers or look elsewhere for work. We will keep you posted, of course, as these new developments take place. The Steelers also announcing yesterday they will be tolling the contract of inside linebacker Ryan Chazier. We know his journey and what he has been through. Still wants to be able to play football. The Steelers said it would be a priority to make sure he stays part of the Steelers team, part of the organization in 2019. And by tolling his contract, they will do that. He will remain on the roster. He'll eventually be placed on the physically unable to perform list. So that way he can still maximize all of the player benefits in terms of insurance and rehabbing and continuing his journey. So a win-win for both the Steelers and for Ryan Shazier. That is the very latest from inside the UPMC Rooney Sports Complex. Of course, we will continue to keep you posted on all things free agency.